Hey everyone, welcome to Judo Highlights. This will be the day one recap of the World Championships. What we've all been waiting for. And day one was pretty exciting. Lots of huge epons like this. I thought everyone was out there to throw. I thought there was no real controversial decisions. Although one in particular, we'll have a look at Takato versus Garigos later on in the video. But first, just a couple of epons. This is Smetov here. Nice throw. I didn't pick him in my picks video. I thought he would go out early and he did actually do that. He lost to this guy here, Baratov from Uzbekistan. To be honest, I'd never heard of Baratov before and he wasn't in my picks video either, but he made it all the way to the finals. So great thing about judo, people just come out of nowhere and shock the world. First straighten, he was having a good day. I mean, look at this technique. That was pretty incredible, right? Sticky Kosoto with the right and then changing to the other side for the Kataguruma. Pretty sick stuff. Also guys, if you want to help the channel, click that join button. Yeah! I'm not exactly an influencer, I'm not getting brand deals or anything, so you guys, I need your support to keep this channel running. I added another tier if anyone wants to donate more than a few dollars a month, but up to you, don't worry about it if it's going to break the bank. Yang, he was the number one seed, also went out early, gets sumigaishid here, can I turn that into a verb, sumigaishid, so he was out early, I did think he would get through it all and eventually meet this man here, Takato. And Takato, he was looking pretty good early on. Throwing people, he was quick. His Kochigari was just causing people all sorts of problems. I really need to make a video on that because his Kochi is very, very technical. Here's the low counter that he likes to do, we've seen that before. In his second round contest, he threw out this incredible throw. I guess it's an Ashiguruma. Starts off as an Osoto, but then turns it really incredible awkward grip around the back but Takato he loves that grip and it's just an incredible throw to add that to his repertoire he's got Koji from there and now he's got this big Ashiguruma this is the next round a little bit controversial maybe this was against Beiromov but Takato initiated the technique changed direction with the Ochigari and he was in control for most of it so I definitely think it's his score so let's talk about it this is probably the the big news of the day Garigos versus Takato in the semi-final. Starts off with Takato, gets a nice wazari. And then Takato, I mean, he looked aggressive. He was going for it. Goes for his, his Yagurenage that he likes to do. Garigos counters it well. So wazari a piece. And then this happened. And no score. Although some people would say that Garigos was going on the elbow. They didn't go to the video. And then it happened again, and I did ask on my channel whether people thought this was Han Sokumake or not. The second one, it's a little bit worse. But they didn't go to the video referee to have a look. I'm not too sure why. Sometimes they can be in two minds. One, they're looking at a score. If there wasn't a score, they may have potentially had a look at the elbow and given Han Sokumake. Sometimes they can be a bit blinded by the score. It looks bad, but in my opinion, I think we should I think we should have this technique. I think we should have all sorts of techniques. Reverse Seonyage's flying jujis. And if you ask me, I think that technique on the elbow is probably gonna be the next one to be banned. So we'll talk about some bronze medal results before we get into the golds. Takato here against Lee ends up losing the bronze medal contest to Shido. First Straiten, who was throwing everyone earlier on. Unfortunately he lost his bronze medal contest to Shido. So Sardalashvili from Georgia, he took bronze there. Although I thought Sardalashvili's performance on the day could have been better. Sardalashvili, by the way, met Garigos in the semifinals. Garigos took him out. So he was in the finals. He had some great judo throughout the day. And then he pulled out this really nice, sneaky kataguruma. So Garigos, he's our new world champion at under 60. Congratulations to him. And hopefully, time permitting, I'll do a video just on Garigos. So stay tuned for that one. For the women at under 48, it was definitely a story of the two Japanese ladies. Koga, she looked really good all day, throwing people for wazaris, throwing people for ippons. This one here was just really outstanding to me. Kochi going one direction and then straight into the Ochigari, going backwards. Great stuff. But then in the quarterfinal, Koga came up against Bukli. Bukli getting the win over her here. So that put her in the repercharge. charge. She ended up fighting Pont for the bronze medal. And she threw Pont twice. Some really nice throws. I guess this is a Tayatoshi. And then here for the Ippon. 
really good. Also the Gari. So the other bronze went to Scuto from Italy. But really, the queen on the day, Natsumi Sunoda. And you always know what she's gonna do. She's gonna drop down for some sort of stemiwaza, tomoinage, or kind of some variation between sumigaishi and look. Look for the newaza. Here she gets a roll over, and then her opponent just didn't want to tap for some reason. I mean, this was bad. Taking some arm damage. Not really necessary. Just tap. Live to fight another day. So Sunoda in the semifinals, she had to go through Pont, and then she had to face Bukli, who took out Koga earlier on. I'm not too sure how the Olympic selection is going for Japan at this moment, but I think it would be pretty hard to push Sunoda out of the way. She's just so dominant, and she's got a really unique style. I think people are going to start borrowing this. Watch how she does this, this Tomoinage. Watch her left foot. Her left foot's going to plant just below the belt, and then she uses the right leg. To kind of gain momentum and then because she's already planted that left foot it's there when she needs it really really incredible stuff so that's it for day one guys stay tuned for day two and i hope you're liked and subscribed i'll see you soon peace